Okay, we uh, well, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, and, and I really just want to say this out loud because if there's anybody on the live stream who's watching, uh, I need you to write something in the chat because if there's nobody on the live stream, I'm going to turn it off so I don't have to worry about it anymore. So if you would like to continue watching this, like just say something, anything, so that I can so that I can turn it off uh, or keep it on. Either way, I don't want you to be without, but also. I, I, if I didn't have to think about it, that would be great. Oh, and then I turned off the mic. I don't know why I did that. All right, well, hey, uh, girls, welcome to Youth Group. Hi. I'm really glad that you're here. We are going to have a good time. Um, it's, it's another episode of Jesse and the Ladies. Uh, in high school, when you get to go to Hume Lake, should Hume Lake ever open up again, uh, there's always one day during the week where I take all of the girls and we go find a place to sit and I order just a ton of pizookies and I watch you devour them all. I watch the girls just kind of just go right. and then just watch them disappear well, in like a minute. May it's it's so fast. It's I I would agree. I didn't have a bazooki until I was an adult, but So usually like a freshly cooked so freshly oh, baked cookie oven. in a big tin with a nice scoop if of ice cream on it. you have one, we are going to TGI Fridays. You should go to BJ's. Sorry, oh BJ's. my gosh. BJ's is what I meant. I said the wrong restaurant. Can you ever talk about going to Bazooki and then I go and they got like my room? Big one. Oh yeah. Was it a different flavor? That is amazing. Hello, Julia. Hello, Julia. Julia. Do you want to give that? You'll do that? Yeah. Okay. Um, I don't know why I put my mask on. like, <laughs> Which doesn't work, apparently. No, it's not. Yeah, because uh, according to uh, coronavirus, uh, it's like yeah, it's not zero cat. one. Dr. Cat is the genealogist here. And even like the most, like those dogs. Hey, people. Natalie is watching. Yeah. Natalie Kim yeah. is watching Youth Group. Hey, uh, everybody look at the camera and say hi, Natalie. Um, oh, and Mickey Mouse apparently is here as well. Um, that is that is very very frightening. Uh, all right, hey, what? Well, that was a sad hi. Natalie just called you out. She's like, that was a really sad hi. Natalie, there's uh, there there are four students here. It's just it's it's just not it's you know. We do what we can. We do what we can, Natalie. It's just not the same if you're not here. Natalie Kim. Natalie Kim. Hi, Natalie Kim. Yeah. Hello. Hello. I said hi. Natalie, what cohort are you in? Lexi wants to know what cohort you're in, and so you can just text her. Probably, yeah, that too. Yeah, that, I mean, you know, like that, that works. That works. Uh, hey, uh, let's uh, let's see here. Do I have do I have announcements? Um, I don't know. Do you? I don't. I don't know. What what? Uh, it's weird with a little bit of a uh, delay here. Let me turn the, uh, this is like... Just relatively cool last minute and then, and then you see, that just gives them a panic attack. It's what crazy. gives them panic? Oh, the announcements? Like, oh. no, like, when you do an announcement, like, last minute, it gets people a panic attack, it's great. That's, that is, I mean, you're right, that, that would give people panic attacks. I don't think people actually like... Hello! Yeah, I was wondering where I, I was like, it feels a little bit dark, but now it feels uh, less dark right here. Um, all right, well, hey, let's uh, let's see here. Announcement-wise, we don't really have a ton going on that is uh, new. Uh, probably the biggest thing is that next week uh, we don't have a lesson per se. We will still have worship, uh, but because it, it will be our, our fifth week, and if you remember how we used to do things last year, uh, we would do kind of four weeks of lessons and conversations and things like that, and then on the fifth week, we would just really play a lot of games. Now, because of coronavirus, which apparently, again, is not stopped by the mask that I wear. Uh, a man Joel! Oh, I forgot my mask again. Oh, you, there's you, oh Joel! <laughs> Joel! Yeah, Joel, this, we got we got masks. Stop. Right here, right here. We got, yeah, we got, we got masks. Um, so, but because of the coronavirus... Oh, man. I don't need friends. Welcome to Thursday. <laughs> uh, so, next week, because 
Hey, Natalie, if you decide to jump off of the live stream, will you, like, say something? Like, text me or text or write it in here just so I know. Uh, that'd be really great because I'm entertaining you, basically, on the live stream. Um, next week, we will be playing games. We'll just be playing games. We'll have some worship and so we'll kind of hang out. I'm going to look at some ways of getting some treats. Uh, but uh, the games will not be probably as fun as the games we used to play where we would... Um, uh, yeah, we'll run around the church, you know, do uh, Jesse's crazy game no, of I'm whatever not it is. Game. Yeah. Whatever we call it. It's Death that Ball 2.0. Game is in the grave. Death Ball 2.0 in the grave? Yes. That's the jam. We I mean, we can't. The Death Ball. I mean, we can't play it anymore. Because it, we can. It, oh, we can't. We can't. Death Ball is Jeremiah's. That's true. We can do it with gloves and masks, but we still can't go inside. We can do it outside in the parking lot. Sounds dangerous. We can put tables as a barrier. Um, how about well, we wrap all in gloves I, I and will wrap. tell you what. I will talk with the leaders, and we will decide. Uh, we'll make we'll make a call. We'll just do. We'll make a call here. Um, okay. Uh, let's see here. We, we have this thing right here. It is a, a devotional, a 30-day devotional uh, that, is that you? Is that your car, Olivia? If any of you are interested in starting a devotional, uh, come talk to me. I have a hard copy of this that I would not mind uh, giving to you. It is a really, really great study. Uh, it's, I mean, it's devotional, so every day you read a little bit, but it really helps you understand just how awesome the Word of God is. And so, uh, it is a very cool thing, and so if you're interested in that, come talk to me. Uh, that would be, that'd be great. Um, and, uh, and that's, that's, that's really it. So next week, bring your friends. Uh, we're gonna play games. We'll have some treats. If you know you're gonna bring friends, try to shoot me a message so that I can have, uh, enough treats that will be prepackaged, and so, you know, we're sticking with the rules and all of that kind of jazz. What's that? Your snake. Snakes are snakes are pretty amazing. Can I bring my hat? Are you teaching on Sunday? I am. Everybody should come to church on Sunday because Jesse's teaching. That's right. Yeah, here we go. Here's here's the last one. The last announcement on uh this Sunday, this Sunday, uh, if you don't have a church that you go to already, uh, we do church out here in the parking lot. Uh, last week, we had a baptism of these two right here. It was amazing. It was amazing. It was, it was, it was quite the party. Um, I, I got to preach, and it was really fun. Uh, and we had a really huge group of people right in the middle, which belonged to your guys' clan. And, and I think this Sunday, everyone's going to be like, where did everybody go? Because there was a huge group of people right out there Thank in the middle. But if you come this Sunday, you'll get to hear me preach again. I get to preach again. What's that? Nope, just two times. Last weekend, this week. That's it. And then never again. Yes. Did you hear Katie's little brother say bye when she went underwater? No. He's like, bye. 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 That's pretty good. That's I funny. You got a chance to meet her brothers, right? They're hysterical. They're terrible. They're not. Oh man. No, they're not. They're they're just they're boys. They're not. Boys are. Pretty much are boys are special. They suck. They All have right. Twice in their hey, life. let's uh, tell you what. On that note, let's play a game. Yeah. Let's play a game. Is it, uh, is it, what is it called? Is it called Kick the Children? <laughs> is it called? Um, Kick the baby. The I'm giving you Olympia and Katie this time. You can have. Them. <laughs> it's called. It's called Chase Joel. Uh, it's not that. That's not it. That's not me. Oh, that is true. That is true. No, we, we are going to play a game that is nothing of the sort. Uh, it's a little bit more respectable. Uh, it is a, a good, wholesome game uh, that we're calling uh, Can It Fart? Uh, and this is the second volume, only because I could not find the first volume. Uh, this is the second volume of a game called Can It Fart, where I am going to show you a number of different animals, and it is going to be up to you to decide, is this an animal Children. capable of flatulence? Organs. Hey, everybody, 
everything farts. Okay. No. Ah, but see, the answer is not everything farts. Everything poops, but not everything farts. Actually, I don't even know if poops is the right word. I mean, like, everything has waste, but that's not always the same. Okay, uh, Natalie, feel free to uh, play from home. Uh, here's how it's going to work. Um, uh, I think... Okay, so kind of like we did last week with our game, I need you to keep track, right? Integrity, integrity. Keep track. Okay, so so if you if you know already you do not have integrity, you have already lost the game. Like you will not be somebody considered uh, for the winner uh, at all, um, at all. So uh, I am going to show you an animal. You are going to decide whether it farts or not. Nope, 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 it's all right here. It's no, all right here. Why did you pull out your slide? My son's been out. You need a helicopter. Yeah, yeah. Helicopter. But I'm on the guy like a helicopter. Okay, here we go. Here is the first animal. You're going to raise your hand, right? If you do think it farts, and then uh, if it doesn't, you're going to go ahead and keep your hand uh, down. Unless I decide that we're just going to switch and you're going to raise your hand for no once I say so. Here we go. Here's the first animal. This is a bearded dragon. What do you think? Can bearded dragons fart? I raise your hand. Yes. Can bearded dragons fart? I know. I raised your oh. bearded dragons because I'm going to give you a I know. Pet. I, so I'm you know. So is this part that. of regular research? Well, I'm going to get bearded dragons as a pet. You have well, to learn all of them. So do you? Okay, so then who says, yeah, so so who says bearded dragons cannot fart? Who is saying bearded dragons cannot fart? Okay, so remember that's your answer if you're right or wrong. And the answer is, oh, it can oh, fart. Cameron, you lie. Oh, gosh, dang, your research needs some work. So bearded dragons can fart. Okay, so right now everybody's tied at zero. Yeah? See, now, I feel like I'm going to have to make a list of all of this over here. Okay, uh, Natalie, Natalie online says yes. Natalie said yes. So we're going to say Natalie is, wait, wait, you guys all said? No. You guys all said no. So Natalie said yes. Uh, so integrity, you already lost it. Doesn't matter. Okay, here we go. Question uh, number two, if I can find where my game is, right here. Here it is. Animal number two, termites. Can termites... Fart. Okay, but it's you. Can they fart? Yes. Yes, termites can fart. Raise it's your hand. You. They fart think, oh, see, now everyone's like, I don't think so, but they I would. I didn't wood. think so last time either. Okay, so. there's a couple of you. Okay, Natalie online is saying no. Everybody else who says no, raise your hand if you say no. I think no. You fart. Termites cannot fart. Cannot fart. Okay, let's it's see. Thick, so let's see right fart. here. They cannot. They Yay! can fart! Oh, man. I'm some of you, I'll tell you what, some of you just need wow. to research fart. They have they booties, and it's like just, it's a, uh, right? It's just the, <laughs> you know, it just does that right there. All right. Okay. 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 Where, where are we at? Who's got, who's got one point? I have one. Which would just be everybody who said uh, yes on that one right there. Okay. Um, okay. Natalie says, be right back. Are you asking me? Are you telling me to be right back, or are no, you gonna? She's going, she's going somewhere. She's going to she's Bourbon. Okay, here we go. She said BRB. Here it is. Okay, next animal, a sea cucumber. As random of an animal as that is, can a sea cucumber fart? Raise your hand. Yes. See what? What did you say? She said that's where the bubbles come from. That's where the bubbles come from. Anytime you see bubbles in the ocean, the something boy. farted. Okay, yes, we're saying yes, sea cucumbers can fart. They can't. I'm going to say yes. Well, Lexi's no like right here the whole time. She's like, uh, uh, yeah, no. She's saying no? No, who says no? Sea cucumbers cannot fart. How many of you are playing the odds game? Here it is right here. It cannot fart. Congratulations. It cannot. Yes, they said no. Every, it's hey, it's that's the way that it works. That's the way that it works. Okay, here we go. Number four, a shark. He can, it can fart. Can it sharks fart? I don't think yes. if you. They can. 
I, I feel like, I, I don't want to get too technical. Lexi's the only one that's certified here with as much as she has watched Grey's Anatomy. But I feel like if you are, <laughs> this is so junior high. I feel like that if you're farting and something comes with it, you're no longer farting, you're pooping. Like I feel like that's like where the line is drawn. So it's like it could be a mixture. It can still a fart, and then it was no longer. No, that's what diapers are for. <laughs> diapers. They, the Wait, seed is the diapers. Have you ever farted to your hand and just said, please do a kiss? I have yeah. not. I can honestly tell you, I have never tried to throw a fart. Never. <laughs> I won't believe that. So my God. I, I have not, I promise, yeah. I have not. But, I will tell you an interesting fact about farts. Fart, or methane, is heavy. It is heavier than air. And so technically, you can fart into a can and then pour it onto somebody. Just saying. Okay, because you've done that. I, I have not done that. But the guy who taught me everything I know about Jesus has. So, Pastor Tim, shout out. Okay. Um, okay. Did we say? No, we did not vote on this. It can't fart. <laughs> Natalie, Natalie, shark fart. Here we go. It can fart. Hey. You are smart. Olivia, you are very smart. I thought we did vote. Did we no, not vote on that? Everyone, we're just, we're just yelling about but farting the whole time. I was yelling yeah, yeah, at Charlie. You said shark fart, fart, and all I can think is shark fart. Ooh. Shark fart. Ooh. I feel like if I say that too fast. Shark fart. But can I just shark fart? Like, I said shark fart. Ooh. That I think shark fart. Yes. I feel like everybody raised their hand on that one. Did everyone think yes, they can? Yeah. yeah. Did anybody think no, honestly? All integrity? I feel like sharks can fart, too. This is a shirt. Oh, I actually can't think they can. Okay, here we go. Okay, a seal. Can yes, I know that. So not just making the sound with its mouth. We know it can make this sound. I want that seal to be the other So passionate. Who says no? Seals cannot fart. There you go, Joel. There you go, Joel. Yes, we don't fart. use the stupid word around here. Here it is. Fart? The answer for seals are yes, seals can oh, fart. Yeah. Yeah. I've seen many videos of that. Me it, too. It, it, it was good. No, no, you're I've seen them too. Seals, they're they're not 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 they're not they're not 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 the fence. <laughs> no, it goes seal looks straight That's at so me funny. and then farts. Yes. That seal looks straight at me and farts. Yes, I have seen that video. Yes, yes. I have seen the video. Here we go, okay, octopus, can an octopus fart? Can an octopus fart? Okay, yes, I don't think that's farting though, that's, okay, yes, who's saying yes? Okay, who's saying no? Octopi cannot fart, here it is, answer is no, octopus cannot Natalie, Natalie had a message held for review. She wrote eight booty holes on an octopus. And it was and it was blocked. I'm gonna go ahead and show that. Let's, let's put that in there. Make sure that gets entered into the record. All right. What the heck? What are you singing? Okay. 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 Oh my goodness. Okay, it cannot fart. Okay, let's move on. Cockroach. What do you think? Can a cockroach fart? They're what? You love cockroaches? Oh, yeah. Uh, I saw one in here in the kitchen one time. Give me a heart attack. Okay. Who says yes? Cockroaches can fart. Who says yes? Okay, we got two, three, four. Okay, then who says no? Cockroaches cannot fart. Okay, these two on the side, they've stopped playing. Here it is, here's the answer. Oh, Natalie says yes. I got distracted. I 
say no. No? Yeah. When you say yes or no, Alicia? No, 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 no. Yes or no? Yes. Yes, they can fart! Woot, woot. You won the not the last game, but the last game. Uh, the game. You never won a game. game. Yes, the, the, the That was before we were doing Impossible Shot. That was like that was like it's coming. That was just for funsies. But okay. yes, whoever wins this will get uh, an extra five. shot of this. Okay, here we go. Next one. Soft shell clam. Soft shell clam. That's a thing. What is soft that? Soft shell clam. Uh, a soft shell crab. Yeah, but it looks like why you know, are they fixing the fortune? Okay, what do you think? Can a soft shell clam fart? Who says yes? Yes, yes, yes. they can. Over there. Shells can Yes, clam yes. Okay, then who says no? Okay, Natalie is also way. saying no. The answer is it can cannot can. fart. I just well I done. Fart. Well done. Okay, where's everybody at score wise? Six. Okay, five. six. One, five, four, six. Is that a two? Three? You have. Oh, wait, sorry. I have two. You don't win because you're already. You said you have no integrity. I have five. <laughs> yeah, she does have see, five. That's, see, you said it so plainly and like factually <laughs> that, like, ah, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. She said she had five. She literally can't have five. She didn't have five. 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 After the second one, you said you had five. All right, here we go. Okay, uh, we've got. Have we got the second one. <laughs> you lawyer. Okay. Uh, <laughs> here it is. What is that? It looks like Caitlyn. Yes. A beaded no, it looks like that girl. lace wing. Like this hair I'm gonna say that's some kind of oh, moth. Like I've been that's yelling a lot because okay, I feel lightheaded. No. Um, oh. Okay. So who's saying yes? A bearded lace wing no. can sure. fart. Sure. No, beaded, not bearded. Oh yeah, beaded. No How many beard. times have I, I said bearded? Yeah, okay. Yeah. That's what it was. Who says no? No. Like the beaded what? lace wing. Okay. Answer is. Say that five times. It can. Oh, what? Like what? Say that five what? Times what? It can fart. 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 I don't think I can. Nope. Inappropriate. What did you just sing? Did you just what? Is what you guess? Did you whatever, whatever you I guess? The stalking horse besides the guy in which the pony was a pony was a lie. You said. Fantastic it is to have Lexi here watching this <laughs> only because I also stood here like this and watched her do similar things. Okay. So, you know what hers were though? Hers were uh, Dr. G. Dr. Right? We got, we got the deepest, darkest secrets that are really funny. Okay, we got, we got Iguana. Dinosaurs. Yes! Can they dinosaurs can fart? fart. Dinosaurs. I know. Yes. Like, yes. 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 Yes.
it's true. Me. It's true. And Alicia decided. Okay. Well, in Jurassic Park, they're real. So they fart. You know yeah, Jurassic Park. Right? You remember that part? Oh, you know what? Okay, here it is. Okay, wait. Who says no? Who says no? They cannot fart. Anybody says no? Okay, um, Julia. We, we, um, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say no. Okay, so Julia. You're gonna say none. Because we don't know. <laughs> <laughs> wait, he said none. I thought he said no. None. That's it. None. Okay. Uh, I think if know. I'm seeing this right, no, Natalie says yes. The answer is yes. yes! yes! Okay, but how Whether it's an actual dinosaur or a guy in a costume, they both can fart. Wow. Or a girl in a costume. Girls don't fart. Think. It doesn't matter no. who. How many times you try to say you don't? Girls don't fart. I've never. Uh, heard I'm that. married, yeah, and I've been in a youth room. So like I, I don't know. Oh, I know. Crap. And oh. I've been near girl cabins, <laughs> like just to be like, hey, we're going somewhere, and like sometimes <laughs> Are you it, saying it comes girls out. Smell bad? Yes. Well, I yes. haven't been there, so you can't say I smell bad. Neither have I. You, you smell, smell bad. bad. <laughs> Uh, I showered just this afternoon, actually, thank you. What? I showered yesterday. I'm going to pick my nose. They're, they're just making fun just, of each other. Yes, yes, so that's that's what what no, no, it's not your job. All right, hey, we're going to play one more game. That was it. Wait, wait, let me see. Uh, okay, what's our totals here? What do you got here? Eight, uh, eight, five, seven. Five, is that five? Is that five? Three? Four, six, five, six, five, six. So eight right here. Cameron wins. No, oh, I thought you had seven. Okay. Uh, no, no, no. Let's give it to him. Let's, let's, let's give it to them both. Okay. Let's uh, let's see. Where's the last, that slide I need right there? Okay. Let me switch this. Let me. Wait. How many did Natalie get? Na oh yeah, Natalie. Natalie, how many did you get? One, zero, I saw four, the car. One. Oh, I looked here and then I saw the car and so I looked over this way. It's Natalie. Yes. She's in her car. Natalie's like, in another ready? state right now. Is she really? I believe so. Where's Ryan? Uh, probably at work. I don't know. He's like a college kid now. I'm just saying that drove by and I don't think he uh, like Let's see here. Wait a minute. Is that Natalie? No, no, no. Katie. No, no, no. Let's go. Joel, is there Julia? Uh, and here we go. Okay, Cameron gets an extra entry into this game right here. Um, okay, I need everybody to stand up. Everybody stand up. Put your mask on. Here's what's going to happen. Here's what's going to happen. I uh, am going to push a button, and it is going to cycle through a number of different poses, uh, and you essentially just need to be not the last person in that pose. Does that make sense? If you're the last person in that pose, then you just have to sit down. It is easy peasy, lemon squeezy. You got this. Totally. Do we have to put on our mask? Uh, just if you stay right there in your chair. Yeah, just stay in your chair zone. Just See, you can't. No, no, no. All right, back up. Chair zone. She doesn't have her mask on. Or, or I mean, your chair. Yeah. yeah. Okay. No, no, no. Back up, back up. Okay, stay in your chair zone. Thank you. Thank you. That's time. Okay. Here it is, right here. Okay. Here are all the different ones. I can't even tell what that is. Can you tell? You can't see that? Okay. Here it is. Be not the last one to do the following pose. Oh. That was a good practice right there. Mostly just for Lexi who went like this. Okay, so there it is. That's how it works. Here it is. Okay. All right, Lexi, sit down. <laughs> well, Lexi, if, did, you, if, did you make it into the pose? Because She was almost there. It was a little bit of like a... Okay. Oh, well, All right, here we go. Okay. Oh! I was really... I had it, then I fell. Ah, uh, see, 
but then that was it right there. Okay, yes. tell you what, let's do it again. Well, I don't know, we'll sit down. If we go through this quickly, we'll do it again. Okay. That's unfair. I know, yes. I know. You can play next one. One day you can be a youth pastor and then you get to make the rules like that. And that's the way that it works. I just make myself that's clear. really the main reason. I'm, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, see, I was going to say Alicia and then you dropped your hands. Yeah. All right, yeah. Katie, you're up. All right. <laughs> All right. You have to yes. Okay. What's that? You just have to be in at least for a second. Oh, you gotta hold it. You gotta hold it. That, you never said that. Oh, you gotta get in the pose. Cameron. Yeah, Cameron. Dang I'm not sure what you're. Dang it, Grandpa. Dangling Grandpa. No, I can't. Dang 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 was that was good. Okay. No. All right. Here we go. Okay. Joel and Juliet, you're up against like the leaders, basically. That's why I'm picturing this as me versus them. Uh, here it is. Ready? This one is called Foothold. <laughs> All right, Maddie, have a seat. Okay, okay here we go. Ready? And go. My eight-year-old cousin. No, oh, that was pretty good. I feel like that was everybody. You guys did that all together. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Here it is. Ready? Uh, Alicia was the last one. Oh no. All right. Joel and Julia. Joel and Julia. Let's see here. Uh, wait, what, what's the orange hair one's name? Enid. The orange. Ready? And yes. go. And then I Oh, Joel wins. Julia, we're that. just right behind. Okay, everybody stand back up. Okay, Joel, you got that one. Don't let me forget. Don't let me forget, Joel. You won that first round. All right, Lexi, get it together. I am not. I am not Kamakura. Come on, Lexi. I am not using your Kamakura. I am not Here we go, and go! Oh man, I think that was Alicia. Alicia was Speaking the first one out. Yeah. We're okay. all holy! Okay, here we go. Yeah. I got that one. Ready, yeah. set, go! <laughs> that was what definitely like that? She didn't like, <laughs> she, she didn't like this high. It was like a, it was more like a, like a, like a really slow bear. Really slow bear attack. Okay. Uh, okay. All right, Lexi, have a seat. Giant. Okay, here we go. That's her impression of an iguana. Uh, you want to know? Whoop, boy. We got him. Whoop, boy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. Ready? Boom. What? Cameron. <laughs> Resourceful, resourceful. Here we go. And go. Oh, man. You guys are all like, that was, that was so close. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Ready and go. That was, all right, Maddie sits down. All right, that was easy. All right. Okay. Okay, here we go. Ready? Ready? Oh, Julia was the last one. It was so close. It was like, like all of you were like, like it was right there. Okay, okay here we go. And go! Oh, Katie. It's all right. She it was hard to try to figure out which one to do, up. which leg. This is what I'll give her credit for. She went for a hard foothold. She went like this. Instead that, of. That was what slowed her down. What's the other way? The other one was this one. That's oh. what. We, but she went for the harder foothold. And I, oh. I, that's what slowed it's her down. It's instinct for me to do this. I do that instead of this. 
Gotcha. Because you're Kate. All right. Yes. Okay. I can do oh, it. Oh, here it is. You, I am the Joel. We are we. We are we. Joel and yeah. Olivia. Ready? Uh, Set. Wait, you ruled out Natalie. Oh, and Nat Natalie, are you doing these at home? <laughs> there we go. Oh, man, you guys both hit that at the exact same time. Okay. I'm hitting a jig. I'm hitting a jig. Okay, ready, set. Just I was preparing. I have memory of you tripping on the beach. Here we go. Time. Ready, set, go. Ah, uh, Joel was there first. Well done, Joel. Again. All right, we're gonna play one more time. One more time. Pay attention. Pay attention. Pay attention. Here we go. Pay attention to the uh, to the poses because. Yes. If you do not match, everyone, I want everyone to pick a pose. Everyone's gonna pick a pose. So we have to match. Yep. Or should it so, be that you? There we go. Yeah. We'll do it like this. Sorry. Oh. No, 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 no. Sorry. Okay. Oh, we should do it that. So everybody, pick one of those poses and hold it. It, it should be that. Okay. Do you have one? one? Get one. Wanted. Everybody, pick a pose. I'm if it is not one. your pose, you have to sit down. If it is not your pose, you have to sit down. I'm used to this. Okay. Here we go. What's your pose? See everybody's poses? Prayer! Yeah. Oh! Yeah! Lexi was the only one! Yeah. Hey, Lexi won! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Lexi! Woo! Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. One more normal, one more normal. No, we gotta get it going. We gotta get going. We gotta get going here. Because we still need to do. Um, Gentlemen, it is time for the impossible shot. I'll put Lexi in there. If you win, you just get to pick somebody at random. Um, all right. Okay, here we go. I'm going to pick two people to take a shot at the impossible shot. That first person. Is gonna be over here. Okay, head on over there to the wall. And the next person to take a shot at the impossible shot will be Cameron. Hey. All right. Oh! 
to sing Liar. now. Oh uh, yeah, that's right. Shh. Shh. Okay, we're going to sing. Um, why is this still showing that? Because or? you have it closed Because yeah. they want another winner. That's what they want. Yeah. I thought I pushed. Oh, that's fine. I thought I pushed that. It's possible, um, I was The names were still uh, circling around there. Ooh, we have to confuse, so I want to Okay. All right, save that. Save that for uh, the ride home. Actually, it'll be really great. Um, we uh, we're gonna do some singing now, right? Alicia's gonna lead us in some worship, and uh, this is just a really great time to kind of center ourselves, to to think about God, to worship Him, to sing to Him, to even use these songs as prayers. Um, and so, like, we really want to be able to take this moment, the craziness of youth group, all the way up until here, and just set it aside and just think about God, who deserves all of our attention. And that's what we want to do right now. We want to give him all of our attention. So Alicia's going to come and lead us. Um, I'll pray, and then uh, and then you guys can stand. Uh, put your masks on if you're going to sing. Um, if you're not going to sing and you already know you're not going to, uh, then you don't have to worry about your mask. But I mean, sometimes, sometimes like you just can't help but sing, you know. So, uh, all right, let's. Uh, Won't you bow with me, and I'll pray. God, thank you for the opportunity to be here to pray. Uh, together, to sing together, to worship together, to learn together, to play together, to just be here together. God, I pray that as Alicia comes and lead us, uh, leads us in songs, you would, you would help us to uh, not be distracted by the things around us, but you would help us to worship you, to think about you, to, uh, to honor you, to pray to you, to even spend this time talking to you. God, help us to be more and more like you, especially as we're talking about sharing your gospel with people around us. God, help us to have a good relationship with you so that when we tell other people about you, they think, yeah, that's definitely something I want. And our relationship is able to grow because of these times of praying together. So we pray, God, that's what we're able to do right now. Thank you for this time. Thank you for uh, putting us all here together. And thank you for what Jesus did on the cross for us. And we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. You all go ahead and stand with me, please. We are going to be starting um, singing uh, the song "One Thing Remains," and uh, I wanted to just for before we sing the song, I wanted to look at uh, just remind you guys of the chorus um, when it says, "Your love never fails, uh, never fails, it never gives up, it never runs out on me," and we're singing the song just celebrating that God does not ever abandon us or walk away from us, uh, and that we get to be part of that. So uh, join me in singing if you would like.
So I, when we're talking, we, we're, well, we're talking about sharing the gospel, and I was reading this book, I don't know, a few years ago, and one of the things that, that the author said in the book is that some, that she said, sometimes it's hard for us to talk about Jesus um, be, in certain ways because we haven't experienced him in that way. Um, and so this song that we're going to sing that's next, it's a reminder that the Holy Spirit lives um, in us, and that my iPad keeps asking me to join Wi-Fi networks, and I don't want any of it. It's tough. Okay. What do you need? It just keeps, there's like a notification that keeps coming up. But um, that, that is, that's the spirit that you are given. Um, and so if there are things, if, you, if some of this doesn't resonate with you guys as we're talking about sharing the gospel, if it feels weird or whatever, um, I would really encourage you uh, to talk to your leaders about that, about what feels awkward and what feels weird, um, and that your prayer would become that people, the people around you would see Christ through you.
thank you um, that you do not abandon us um, or leave us and that you are there with us uh, in the midst of everything that we're, whatever we're going through. And so, Father, I pray that um, as we grow in, in knowing who you are, that sharing the gospel would just become a natural outpouring of that because, God, we know who you are and how amazing you are. Um, so teach us more about your character so we can learn to love you better. Amen. 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 All right. Thank you, Alicia. It sounds like it's working. Yay. <laughs> no, like this. Like, glued to your back like that. Muslim woman. I'm sorry. Except with a beard. And I was going to no say he looked like one of the seven dwarves from <laughs> Snow White. Which one? Don't say it. Dopey. Don't say it. Bye, you right there. turn the receipt in because this is a church credit card. Okay, hey, Cameron, Cameron, can you give her the your drink? Just give her the drink. Give her the whole drink. Yeah, yeah, there we go. What's that? Yes. You know, <laughs> yes, yes, Joel. Yes, what? And then we'll do church. What? There's a cash prize. An, an unnamed cash prize because I don't have any cash on me. So it's whatever. It's whatever cash. There you go. You get an IOU. Can I um, Thank you. Okay. All right. Hey, we are going to finish up here our series talking about what? Gospel. The gospel. Can anybody here tell me what the gospel is? Or was it the Bible and the New Testament? Pick me. Pick me. Yes. And I feel like we, we addressed that on the very first week. Uh, I did see Cameron's hand first. Okay, Joel. I just hit my eye on my water bottle. It's dirty, like you got it. You got to whip on the cable. What did you do, uh, Jesse? Oh. <laughs> 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 oh, 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 Do it again. Oh, oh, oh. I'm afraid to do it again. Do it again. It's building, I hear it. Okay. Joel. Yes. Turn back. Okay, ready? Do the wiggle. Thank you. Okay. That works too. Joel, what's the gospel? The gospel is basically Okay. That's it. If you narrow it down okay. to like Boy, a basic level. You guys are going to hate our next series. I'll tell you what. You're going to hate it because this is going to be this. I'm just going to say it. We're not it. haters. We're lovers. Fantastic. It's going to be so good. Okay. Any other thoughts? 
I, I'm sure I've got it somewhere on my computer. Uh, any, other, any other thoughts? Lexi should know it. She's heard it. She hears it on Tuesday, and she's heard it a ton as a leader. She knows it. Julia, any thoughts? Anything you want to add to uh, what the gospel is? What's that? Okay. Katie, anything you want to add? Okay. Helicopter. Alicia or Maddie or Lexi, anything you want to add? Helicopter. Children. Just saying words. You're just saying nouns. What's that? Hey, shh, 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 shh. I like their discovery and watching that unfold. Yes, it is. It is. There is. There is. There is something to happen. Here, let me show you. Here. If someone, if someone were to ask you, nope, shh, Olivia, that doesn't help. That doesn't help. Joel, that's not helping. That's not helping. If someone were to ask you. What does it mean to share the gospel? Would you reply with, if I'm sharing the gospel, I'm just going to tell somebody that there's a book of the Bible called Mark. Is that sharing the gospel with somebody? No. No. What is sharing the gospel? Yes. Sharing the gospel is telling them what the, not what the gospel is, but what's in the gospel. Which is? Why is that important? Because he's Jesus. He died. A little bit more. Jesus committed death with you before sin. When he was raised, he committed death with you on Easter. No, he said. When he was raised from the tomb on Easter and we could be saved. If we believe in him. Saved from what? Sin. Death. Sin, death. Okay, these are good. Being shot, right? Julia's giving me the finger guns. Okay. <laughs> Okay, Katie, anything you want to add to that? Um, Here, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna blow your minds in that I'm I'm gonna show you that I have given you the answer three times now. Yes, says. Okay. Oh, not gospel. 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 God created us to be with Him. Our sins separated us from God. This time we are moved right to the D. He's a Frank person. Jesus died and rose again. Everyone who trusts Him alone has eternal life. Jesus, life with Jesus. Listen. You got. <laughs> Didn't you, did you not see me like get out of the way? And she was like looking around me a little bit, like, oh. Olivia, that's a good job. I read it from my big brain. Well done. Okay. The gospel. The gospel is like does have to do with Jesus. Jesus is a really big part of that, right? But if that's just the answer, that's not enough. It's gonna be a little bit of a bigger picture. Jesus is, uh, um, it's his life, right? And so when you talk about the books of the Bible that are called the Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, they, they're called that because they are the story of Jesus. The story of Jesus, uh, what he did, and why it's important for him to be around, right? It's the life, death, resurrection of Jesus. And it is that thing right there that saves us, like you were saying, from death and from sin uh, and being separated from God. And so if you're going to share the gospel with somebody, that's, you might have heard it called the good news. Right? It's the good news of Jesus, that you were a sinner. You were stuck and trapped on your own, but Jesus came and saved you anyways and made it so that you could be free. Right? That's the gospel. You didn't earn it. You don't deserve it. But Jesus is giving it to you free because why? Because he wants to spend eternal life with you. Because he loves you and he wants to spend eternal life with you. Ab absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Yes. Student Cameron. If you don't sin, Jesus died for nothing. It's true. I do sin, though, like a significant amount. So we have to sin to be. No. Not have to. Nope. I think Paul would have some words. Paul would say, So does this mean if grace abounds as we sin, should we just keep on sinning so that we can get more grace? And he says, by no means may it never be. Which is like, basically, that's Greek for being, are you kidding me? That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Um, 
No, you don't keep on sinning. You get grace for free. So that should compel you to live a life that points others to him. If you can be freed from your sin, wouldn't you want your friends to be freed from sin? Right? And that's kind of what we are talking about uh, tonight. We talked about what the gospel was. We talked about why the gospel is important. Lexi's trying to rip off one of her fingers right there. Okay? We said that the gospel was important because of two reasons. The first being... There's a way to make that look prettier. Oh, Jesus, we die. Right? There it is. Okay, without Jesus, we die. Right? Without him, because we're separated from God because of sin. But the second reason is, with Jesus, we can live. Can you see it? I so, live I do this. again. With Jesus, we can live. You mean like you I'm not sure what accent you're doing. The but. same thing, just saying it in a different way. Jesus yeah. committed death. It doesn't matter really how you say it, as long as what you're saying is you didn't, you, you were dying. But now because of Jesus, you're living. You right? There's a line in uh, the, uh, the song, Amazing Grace, which says, I was once dead, but now I'm alive. I once was lost, but now I'm found. I once was blind, but now I see. Actually, I don't think dead and alive is a line. That's not a line. Anymore. You know how they say, so you know how we're living right now and we believe in Jesus? Wait. How we're living right now and we live in Jesus? Wait, wait, wait. Jesus? Yep. How are atheists alive then? So it's a spiritual life and a spiritual death. Yes. Paul says that because of sinners, we are dead, right? The wage of sin is death, which is a, an immovable it's thing. You happen. cannot move towards God because you're dead. You need life from Jesus to be able to move towards God. Anyways, that's a whole other thing. Uh, we, let's see, let me skip ahead to where we were because we just talked about a bunch of things. Um, we want to be able to experience God working through us and uh, working through us to work through our friends. Right? Like, uh, if we know Jesus and we know what it's like to be saved, we want our friends to know the same thing. It, it, unless your life with Jesus sucks. If, if your, everything you're experiencing with Jesus is not great, and you're like, this is the worst decision I've ever made in my entire life, it would be hard to want to share that. I've met nobody who has taken their life with Jesus serious that would say that. In fact, all the people I know who don't take their life serious with Jesus anymore, they would still say, I just, uh, I'll get back to it. I, I don't know. I did, like, they, they know it was the best thing, but they also recognize that they're not walking that way. And so if you know that Jesus is great in your life, it's just natural that you would want to share it. And that would be a cool thing to have in us. Have you ever felt that before? I know that you're junior hires, but you're not, you know, totally separate from the world. Have you ever felt like God was using you to talk to somebody else? No. But, yeah, sometimes. <laughs> like, the majority is like, no. I just never. <laughs> One time it happened to me. I was a youth leader in Washington. There was a, a boy in my small group. I was calling to talk to him, to invite him to something. And his sister answered the phone, and she didn't come to church. Uh, and so um, I had talked to her a number of times. But for whatever reason, this one time, I was like, why don't you just come to church? She's like, I don't know anybody. I don't want to come to church. And I said, tell you what, you come to church, and I will introduce you to everybody. I know everybody. I will introduce you to everybody. And then you'll know everybody. And then you can't say, because I don't know anyone, because you'll know everybody. She's like, I don't know. Well, I'll tell you what, the next time that there was youth group, she showed up. And she came right up to me. And she was like, I'm ready. And I was like, oh, I was not ready. I was not prepared to introduce her to everybody. But one of the other boys in my small group, he had a younger sister, the same age. And I knew her. And I said, hey, look, Andrea, I want you to show Jean everything. Show her everything around the church. Introduce her to everybody. Just, just do all that. And she was like, absolutely. Um, and she did. What's crazy is that like over the next few weeks, they became the bestest of friends. Like the bestest of friends. They became inseparable. They, they were just uh, the bestest of friends. Uh, a few, kind of, kind of. Except supposedly less crazy, perhaps? They had their moments. They had their moments. Um, three, three or four months. Shh, shh. Three or four months after them becoming friends, they went on a uh, winter retreat. And her being on this winter retreat, she gave her life to Jesus. Which was amazing. We were all very, very, very excited about that. Which started, which if you trace it all the way back, was because uh, her friend, because she became friends with Andrea. Because I introduced her to Andrea. Because I took a step out and it was just like, hey, why don't you come to church? Over here. Right? Okay, now, here's where the story gets a little bit crazy and sometimes sad, is that about six months after she accepted Jesus, she died. She was swimming, 
uh, in a swim competition. She came out of the water and she said, Mom, I don't feel good. And then she collapsed. And then that was it. She died on the way to the hospital. Which is it's a sad story. It, was, it wrecked our youth group. It, not, not wrecked it in, in like it was never the same again, but just like we were devastated. This was, this was our dear friend, Jean, and she died quickly and without, nobody even still today knows why that happened. But if we trace back the series of events, we are all beyond confident that she is in heaven and that we are going to see her again because she accepted Jesus at that winter tree, because she became friends with Andrea, because I brought her to church that one time. I don't get credit for a lot of that stuff, but I love that I got to play a part in that, right? And that's what this whole thing is with our friends. We don't save our friends. We don't have that. We don't have that power. We can't do that. But we can encourage them. But, but should it end up that way that they give their lives to Jesus? Like, we get to know that we played a part in that. Like, we, God used us. And there is something amazing about being used by God to do something so, so big and so great. Um, I want to show you, um, yeah, let's watch it. This is what I did on Tuesday, too. I was like, I was like, wait, it didn't work. You guys are so funny. I have made the decision that I have made a decision to watch this in front of It already came out. It already came out. Okay. You know it's a good trailer if you tear up. Like, oh. But then when you watch the movie and you're like, some of this didn't really make sense. Um, okay, look, there are, there are problems with the newer movies and the franchise as a whole. But there were some amazing scenes in that movie. The fight, oh, just the, it, oh, jeez. Okay, I, I anyways, have all the, there are, so there, there, there are amazing I parts. I am all the Jedi. Obi-Wan Kenobi. What are you doing? I have made the decision that I, because um, like, okay. feel that. In this clip, right, in the trailer, and those of you who know the movie, saw that a bunch of people were coming together for one purpose for one cause, a single cause, to take down the emperor emperor and his fleet of planet-killing star destroyers. Because you can't make a Star Wars movie without a planet-killing laser. I just, that's, there's one of the problems with, with Star Wars. Sorry. 
They do, by the way. They take it. They, they win. Yes, Cameron. So in the beginning, you can always go to the bathroom. Yes. Yes. Okay. Um, let's look. Um, uh, in a, in a similar way, and I say similar, only similar way, we have been called to do something similar as taking down the emperor in coming together to build up the cause for Christ, right? Here's this. This is what we call the Great Commission. Jesus came and told his disciples, I've been given all authority in heaven and on earth. Therefore, go and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. He says, teach them or teach these new disciples to obey all the commands I have given you and be sure of this, I am with you always, even until the end of the age. This is one of those passages that helps us know what we're supposed to be doing as Christians. It's just right there. Jesus tells his disciples, go, make disciples, baptize them, and teach them. Now, I think that this tends to freak a lot of people out right there because they're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Especially young kids, right? I don't know how to do this. I don't know. I don't know how to teach anybody. I, I'm not going to baptize anybody. I, I'm, I'm a, a, a kid myself. I'm just learning how to do all of this. Um, and if you can remember back, though, to all any of the stories you've heard about his disciples, right? His disciples didn't even know really what was going on. I, I would suggest that it wasn't. Uh, even when he died and even when he rose again, they were still confused as to what was going on. Like when he came back and they, they, they automatically thought like, oh, this is when you're going to take over Rome. This is when you're going to run things. We get to sit next to you in power. And he's like, no, actually, I'm taking off. You guys are in charge. I'll let your boy. And he takes off, right? Like everyone's like, oh, what? How am I going to? I can't. I don't know how to do this. I don't know how to talk. How am I going to? How am I going to? Can you imagine it? Right? Can you imagine that? What it would be like for Jesus to leave you in charge like that. But he says some really great things. He says, but be sure of this. I am with you always to the end of the age. Jesus knows that it's scary. He knows it's hard to remember how to do all of it, right? And so he promises that he will always be with us. Jesus is also, though, Jesus is the guy who's in charge. He says, I've been given all authority in heaven and earth. He's the boss. He's the one in charge. He gets to say what we do. And since he'll be with us always, he knows that we'll be able to accomplish it. And so that's why he starts. It starts out with this. Therefore, go. You have to go. Right? If you're ever going to share with your friends or your family the gospel, what do you have to do? You have to actually go and do it. Right? You can't sit back in your bedroom on your bed and just be like, God, I hope that my friend knows, gets to come to know you. I mean, I'm not going to do it, but I hope that someone does. Just call and be like, you need to know Jesus now. Right? And that is, that is a way to do that. But what I'm saying is a lot of people won't do that. They won't take that first step in talking to their friends. They'll just hope that somebody else does it. You have to get out there and actually do it. Actually start that conversation, right? You don't have to be like, hey, we've been friends for a long time. Tell me about your thoughts on Jesus, right? I mean, if you're really good friends with that, you can probably do that. But, but you got to start the conversation. What do you think about religion? What do you think about the stars? What do you think happens when we die, right? What do you think about all these different things, right? And just kind of get the ball rolling because as you get the ball rolling, then you can say, guess what I believe? What if the ball stops? And I want the same thing for you. Um, but like Jesus' disciples, though, you don't have to have it all figured out right now. I, I don't even have it all figured out right now. I'm constantly learning things. Constantly. People who've been Christians their entire lives are still learning things. One of the things I'm most excited about when I get to heaven is this. Right here going, oh, that's what you meant. That's my favorite part because I know that we don't have it all figured out. But the things that we do have figured out are the key parts, right? We were sinners. We were separated from God because of our sin. And so Jesus came to save us, to pay the penalty for our sins so that we could be back with God, so that we could spend eternity with him. Those are the things that I know. And those are the things that are important to be able to share with our friends. Um, and because we want our friends to know Jesus, we get to work together, much like the 
the people in the Star Wars land are working together. We get to work each other. We work with each other. We get to uh, uh, encourage each other. We get to come alongside and, and encourage and be like, hey, uh, try it this way. Or like, hey, let's let's together invite our friend uh, to church with us. And then they at least know, you know, two different people. Um, and so we get to do this together. And like I said uh, uh, last week or the week before, like we get to be those walking billboards for Jesus. But we get to do it together. Right? Once you've got a friend who's doing, who's also talking about Jesus, it becomes a little bit easier for you yourself to talk about Jesus. And so we get to do this together. We've got Jesus and we've got each other. And it's pretty great. Um, uh, and, and yeah, I was. You might even be sitting here. I, I feel like I know where a lot of you come from, um, but I don't want to assume anything. But oftentimes in a group of people that, that are, are Christians, there are some that are not Christians. And so it's okay if you're sitting here thinking, like, I don't know if I really believe any of this. Um, if it's Katie and Olivia, we may have to talk about your baptisms the other day and just, like, really work through that again. But, right, but that's okay. But what I want to say is that if you're not sure if you believe, I want to encourage you to ask questions. Ask questions. That's one of the great things about Christianity is that we're not afraid of your questions. We may not always have the answers, and people may give really bad answers, but we will, we will always accept your answers. Like, I know me personally, I will always dig for an answer if I don't know it. I want to find it. I don't want to make something up. I want to know for sure, because then that's a chance for me to learn something, but I want to make sure that you've got the best information possible. And so when it comes to the gospel, when it comes to having a relationship with Jesus, I want you to be confident in what it is that you're sharing. Like I said at the beginning, if you are not really sure what it is that you believe or who Jesus is, this whole conversation about sharing Jesus with your friends is, is kind of pointless, right? Not that you wouldn't be good at it, but if you're going to tell somebody about something, you're going to want to kind of make sure you know what you're talking about, right? That's what we hope for our teachers anyways, that if we're going to put somebody in the front of a class that they know what we're talking about. I mean, I often get Snapchats from some of you who are like, this teacher does not know what they're talking about. This is not hey, English class. Teacher. Um, I've, I've been in classes that I've, I've helped, I've had to help teach too. It's okay. So anyways, uh, the, the long of it is um, we get to play an amazing part in sharing the gospel uh, with our friends. Again, we don't save our friends, but we get to introduce our friends to the saving grace of God, of the gospel, of the good news of Jesus, in hopes that one day they would they would trust in Jesus as well. Like, um, I, I wouldn't want to, like, get kind of, like, to get you guys in a bit of, like, a bad analogy, but um, I was going to make an analogy, but um, I wouldn't want anybody to get on the wrong foot. So that's why I wanted to You wouldn't want to get anybody on the wrong foot? Right, and I think that's why it's, it's important to know kind of what we're talking about. No, but that's not the analogy. I was going to say it was going to be analogy. You were going to give an offensive analogy? No, not offensive, but a little confusing. Well, then let's, yeah, let's not, let's not confuse. I'd be interested in knowing what you're talking about. Maybe I can help you make it less yeah, confusing. Okay. Confusing. Hey, it, it gets, cool. hey, don't worry. It gets easier. It gets easier. Once you get out of junior high, it's like you'll barely have any homework. And then once you get to college, <laughs> easy. In pre-K, in pre I was sent home like a four-page packet every day. Actually, it depends on what you do in high school. In high school, there's a ton of homework, especially if you're in an AP. There was a girl that was in the youth group a little while ago. Her name was Eva, and she took, like, all the AP classes. And so she'd be here at youth group just crying because she'd stressed out about all of the stuff that she has to do. Uh, and what was crazy is that she got to college and it was like, oh, man, this is nice. <laughs> it's like a nice break. Like, is it Santa Claus a religion? Like, like you're just letting a red 
Yeah, this is this is a strandum. This is that's that is yeah, uh, a. I tell you what. You leave him offering. You leave him milk and cookies. That is an offering for the strange man that breaks into your house every year. And then people this, have. This is junior high. The people this have like, like, a, like this is, this is just what I do. And that's an junior idol. High. It's so Santa Claus is a Santa Claus is a cult and religion um, and FBI. all that kind of stuff. I'm not even sure enough. if there's anybody out there listening right now, but we're just kind of all talking about whatever it is we want to talk about right now. Nobody even knows that I'm just talking straight to the camera. Lexi's like, talking about her shoes. I mean, like, it's, you know, we got Santa Claus over here. We got, I'm not, we got, <laughs> anyways, okay, good night, everybody. Um, <laughs> How about, uh, I don't, I don't, We can, well, yeah, that's it. we can have these conversations. In fact, tell you what, that's what we'll do. I'll pray, and then we'll break out into our breakout group. We'll stay together in one group. Uh, stick with your chair. Uh, we'll do a group together. Uh, we'll hang out. Um, and, uh, and we'll chat about some questions about what we just talked about, as well as any kind of random questions you can come up with as well. Uh, because, I mean, what's junior high without it? Right? Okay. All right, let me pray. Let me pray, and then we'll do uh, breakout groups. If you are on the live stream, uh, I'm going to end the live stream. Um, and if you are, uh, what's that? I don't know if Natalie is. I haven't seen anything from Natalie in a while. I saw something from Jeremiah at one point. Uh, and also uh, a random person named uh, Brian Ratliff, who said he can't join the Zoom call. So that's a bummer, Brian. I don't there's a Zoom know you. Call? Yeah. Uh, usually, if there's people on the, on the Zoom or on the, on the stream, we'll do like a Zoom so that they can you know, be included or whatever. But I don't think there's anybody there. Um, okay, let me pray, and then we'll do our breakout groups. God, thank you for the gospel. Thank you for your truth. I pray as we go out through our weeks that you would give us opportunities to uh, talk about how great you are to all of our friends. Um, not in a way that pushes them away, but in a way that, uh, that makes them curious, that draws them in. And God, may they find a place at a church or somewhere uh, where they can hear more about you with the hope and intention that one day they will give their lives over to you, uh, that they will be able to experience uh, the love and the freedom uh, that we know right now. God bless our time and our discussion together. May it bring you honor. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, all right, kids on the stream, I am clicking the end stream button because I saw nobody type anything. So, uh, adios. Katie, I have